Hello everybody and welcome back to Crafting with Chels. Um, basically today um, I was going to do how I kit up and how I kit down my diamond paintings but obviously in two separate videos but um, I was going to do a how I kit up for my diamond paintings today um, but I am currently still doing Biker Betty by Diamond Art Club so I don't really want to kit up another painting um, that I'm not going to be able to start for at least a couple of weeks so today we are going to be doing a another unboxing video um, the painting that we've got today is the trap siren um, and it came yesterday in this box by Diamond Art Club which I think is actually, let me turn it around, which is actually a really, really cheap box. Um, I haven't opened it yet and my partner um, basically brought this video, uh, video, brought this painting for me and I've obviously been eyeing it up for months and it was in the sale so I thought, why not? So I got it and I'm just going to, I haven't opened it yet, like I said, but I'm just going to get it out of this box. So bear with me while I get my crafting knife, which I think is over here. So we've got my crafting knife. So let's obviously cut it down the box is a little bit damaged here in the corner but what do you expect when it comes from america not that you know i've had bad experiences from diamond art clubs this has been my third order and i've actually ordered um another two today my partner bought it for me again um but it's just out um, and this one hasn't got cellophane wrapper on it because I don't actually know but it's a square diamond and like I said in my previous video um, Biker Betty is a different box than this one um, let me just go and get Biker Betty and I can show you what I mean. Um, see, this one is Biker Betty. Obviously, it's open because at the moment she's on my crafting table out flat because I'm currently doing her. So, let me just. There we go. So, any painting that you get from Diamond Art Club, um, this one is a collector's edition, and I'm guessing all of the other Betty Boops. Um, that they do come in these boxes. I'm not entirely sure, but I did order another Betty Boop um, painting today and it should be here within seven to 21 days. Um, so I will keep that and I will show you if it's the same as this one, which I'm about 50-50 whether it's gonna be like this or if it's gonna be like this. But anyway, this one is the trapped siren let's just bring that up to the camera so it's the trapped siren and it's 20 inches by 30 inches or 51 centimeters by 76 centimeters it's a square which i do like doing squares but i prefer a round but i doesn't it doesn't really matter but you know i thought i'd give a square one a go and obviously this box isn't damaged at all. Um, and obviously when you buy a painting, it's either got the blue band here or this one, this band will be pink, which will indicate that it's a round, not a square. So if you see a blue one on your box, it's a square. And if you see a pink one, it's a circle and so on. Um, so let's get into this and see what is on there or what is in there even it's been a long day 
So get the canvas out. It's a little bit heavy. Let's get the let's get it all out. I've got to be careful not to put the canvas on the floor because my cat likes to lay on things and I don't want him laying on this sort of stuff. So as I said in my previous video when it comes to Biker Betty and obviously any diamond painting kit you get from Diamond Art Club or any like AliExpress, fan sales, eBay, Amazon, anywhere really, it will come with a toolkit. So Diamond Art Club obviously it comes in a little bag and obviously it says DIY diamond painting toolkit. Um, and in this toolkit, like I said before, you obviously get your pen. You get the, I think it's a four placer or it might be a three. Don't quote me on that because I could be wrong. You get a pencil, a pen grip even. You also get this one, you get two love heart, you get two love heart waxes and you get a ton of baggies. So you can either use these to store your leftover drills, any spare drills, um, etc. If you run out of room in your storage kit and you need space and obviously it comes with a tray and it comes with a pair of sharp tweezers as well so it's the basic toolkit that you get um some kits with different companies you don't get tweezers or you don't get the two waxes or you don't get um you know uh I'm trying to think of the word now the white tray you get a green boat instead so that's what was in this toolkit. Obviously, you've got the sticker. So you can put this on your storage box so you don't get mixed up. Um, or you could put it in your notebook um, to show what paintings you've done so you don't buy it again. Or if you want to buy it again because you really enjoy doing it, then go ahead. But at least then you have a record of what you've done. So that's good to keep. And you get your schematics sheet where it's got all the colours listed here and another picture and the dimensions and, you know, the colours and everything else. This, again, is on a giant sticker. And what I tend to do is I tend to cut that out and the name and the artist and I stick it on my storage box. Um, and basically, this one's got... 36 colours but it's got no aura borealis which is the ABs if you want to abbreviate it it's the shiny drills that bring out a shine in some paintings um so yeah that's basically what that is so if we get into the canvas let me just get this out quite heavy this one is. I'll put that there. So and put that to the side. Um, again you get step by step instructions. Ooh. Step by step instructions. But if you've been doing it for as long as I have, you don't need these instructions, but I like to keep them anyway. Um, and I think in this one, you get a 10% off your next purchase coupon. Um, so that's that. These are the drills. So they are neatly packed, you know, in their own little bags and everything. So here's the close up of the drills. So there is quite, they are quite heavy and they are quite compact in there, but you know, Get what you get and so onto the canvas just um roll it so this is the trapped siren 
Um, honestly, my honest review, I really love the canvas because it's really soft and, you know, it's not flimsy. And when you roll it out and leave it flat like this for a while, it does tend to flatten itself out. Or you could, like, roll it back on itself to make sure that it does unflatten or you can stick it under a heavy rug or you know hang it up because i know some people put them on coat hangers um like you know the clicky coat hangers that you put jeans on they hang them up to keep them straight um basically like i said before do what makes you sparkle diamond art club you got the schematics down the side here i'll just move it into frame here and then you've got it again down down here it's also got all their social media at the bottom there um i honestly thought this would be a little bit bigger but i am actually glad that it's not if that makes sense like don't get me wrong i do love doing big diamond paintings i mean the biggest i've got is probably my gaia painting um and she's pretty big but then she's probably about the same size as betty boop but it's testing me but I do like all these greens and how they merge in and the symbols are quite clear on the drill field so you can see them with or you know you can see them without a light pad I know some people like to use a light pad but um, I won't be doing this until I've done bike about like I said in the beginning of the video but I just wanted to do an unboxing for you guys because it came yesterday or the day before and I will probably do another unboxing because I've got two coming. I know one of them is a partial drill and another and one of them is a full drill but um, I haven't done a partial drill by Diamond Art Club yet. I've only done like full, full drills, excuse me. So when I come to round doing this one um when i film i will show the canvas again um and it'll be at a different angle because right now you're upside down well to me but you know um i will be filming at a different angle um so you can see what i'm doing i will be explaining how i kit up and show you how to kit up um and how i kit down so obviously when i finish bike of betty i'll film a video of how I kit down so I can show you um because I know loads of people have been asking me about um how do you kit down how do you kit up because I'm not entirely sure what to do with all my leftover drills um I just put mine in a jar um basically like this uh it's an old bolognese pasta sauce jar but obviously I wash it out and I take off this label and I do fill up my beads and everything um because I just haven't got the storage space at the moment to separate them all into colours or what have you. So this was basically um, the video for today. Um, please like, subscribe and comment any other ideas you want me to do or any questions or anything. I will post all the relative links down below. Um, and that's basically it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.